Okay, Lauren, I've got your, actually, I have your PDF. Thanks so much for including the PDF. It's stuff like this that I like to see. It's, you're, at 17, 11, you're at 17 by 11, and that's an incorrect file size. This uh, requirement for this assignment is 10 and a, 10 and a half by 15 and a half. Or actually, it would be with 15 and a half by 10 and a half. So keep that in mind. Um, I think, listen, I think you're getting too personal with this piece. And, and, and let me explain. Okay. It's a good composition. It looks good. But we're losing sight. We're losing focus. This is a magazine ad. Let me pull a guideline out. And this is 17. So that would be eight and a half. So there's our guide. So there's your center line, okay? Now, it, you, you're you saying that this is a three-column grid. I mean, I think that you said that, but it's not. I mean, it's clearly not. It, it's not. The, co the grid doesn't fit um, because here's the half of the page, and that if this width would clearly, with the gutter, would come out to about here. O okay, so, so, so that's not going to work. Um, and, and that subsequently throws this whole thing a little bit out of kilter. I think that you had, did you supply a grid underneath this? I thought you did, but now I'm looking at it and I'm, and I'm seeing that it's not going to fit the half page. If it's not going to fit the half page, it's not going to fit the full, full page. So I'm wondering if, if you did something to, to alter that grid. Another thing is this, is that this is a, a headline, okay? So you're, I, I really want you to think about, you know, this is a spread. It, 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 and it, it, it's going to, there's going to be a fold in there. So, you know, it's not going to be looked at like a poster. And I think you're tending to look at this that way. So you really should have a clearly demarcated left page and a right page. All right. I think that um, the magazine edit, I mean, the magazine spread itself, I think you should have, you know, you could arrange this, but God, over here on this page, give us a, a deck. Give us a deck and a byline so we know it's a magazine article and possibly not a poster. A deck is, you know what a deck is, and a, and a byline. And then folios, we need folios so we know it's a magazine, all right? Your type, you need also, you need a continued on page over here because that just ends. Um, your type looks good. Your justified settings look pretty good. I highly recommend not using a drop cap on each new paragraph. In justified settings, I think it looks best to mark your new paragraph as a, as a space between paragraphs instead of doing any indentation whatsoever. I would go at, at least three or four spaces deep on your, your drop cap. That's just, it's just like, it almost looks like, well, do I want to or I don't? So make a decision and make it obvious. This right here is definitely called, this would be the true definition of a widow. And that is that's sitting up there, or I mean, technically it could be an orphan too, depending. That's why they're so inter, kind of interchangeable. Um, so that's sitting up there by itself. You do not want that. This uh, line of type needs to align with that line of type. Okay. Um, other than that, I think that fitting the grid and those little comments. My only other comment is that the background. The background, it's it's not working. It, I mean, I know that you've stuck with it and stuck with it and stuck with it. And, I, and that's why I say this before, and I don't mean that personally, is that you, it seems like you're getting personal with it because I don't mean that to be a dig at all. I'm just saying, I mean, what about an image? Even an image of a sky or something can speak so loudly for this piece. So anyways, but the important thing is the typography is looking darn good, um, aside those things that I had mentioned. Um, pull quote looks pretty good, but where's the end of your quote? You're going to definitely want the end of that. Um, I think the pull quote's a little big. I would pull it down to about here so you have some nice white space kind of surrounding it, pulling it away from the, the center of the text. Okay, other than that, um, looking good. Hey, if you have any questions at all, please give me a holler. Thanks.